Do you love old cars and trucks? Join us on Bring Them Back to Life, where we search the salvage yards and backyards of America to find that gold mine of a parts car or that restorable gem in the rough. Come with us down memory lane as we elevate the status of our salvage yards to outdoor museums of automotive history. I'm not positive, but I think this Mercury should say Comet on it somewhere. This, this thing is pristine for vehicle back in the 70s. I'm going to climb in see what I can learn about this Mercury. Well, <clears throat> that odometer says 64,000 miles. And I'm telling you, this thing is clean. It is an automatic. Not much wear on the brake pedal. None on the box brake pedal. The dash is all nice original except a couple of sun cracks on the top pad. Unfortunately, the glove box doesn't have a manual in it, but here's the keys. Boy, is that sweet. It's nice and soft and comfortable. It does have a wear mark where the driver kept getting in and out. A little, little tear right here on the edge. What a shame this thing wound up here. I know it's a four-door, but still. You know, four-doors that are original granny get grocery getters really deserve love, too. I know, I have a couple. But, let's see what the door sounds like. It's obvious that somebody popped it right in front at one time. That's probably why it wound up here. I kind of like to see what engine is in there. Yeah. Well, it's only a six cylinder. Not too much in the hot rod arena, but that can always be remedied. But there's a lot of nice stuff on this old Mercury. Gotta move on. It hasn't snowed yet, and I don't wait, I'm not waiting for it. Well, I met Jordan's Pick and Pay in Preston, Connecticut. I've come over here and I've talked to Jeff. He's getting that Volvo loader with the forks on it. And he's gonna go up on the hill and pick up that 1976 Mercury Comet and put it on my trailer. And then we're going to see what we can do about bringing them back to life since the owner, Dave, gave it to us. I'll be following it.
is folks, a 1976 Mercury Comet time capsule with 64,000 miles on it. And we're going to try to bring her back to life. Well everybody, here's the uh, 76 Mercury Comet at home in my yard. And one of the first things I wanted to do was to see what parts were missing under the hood. And uh, blow up the tire that was flat. Roll it off my trailer. So I could start to tinker. Well, if you remember, when I was over in the yard at Jordan's, going through the car, I found the keys were in the glove box. And they unlocked the column and they unlocked the trunk. So because it wasn't my car, I put the keys back in the glove box. So now I get it home. And I go to start tinkering. I open the glove box. And there's nothing there. So since I was at the yard last. And my friend Dave said I could have the little Mercury Comet for bringing him back to life. Some SLB stole the keys out of the glove box. So there I am with a locked steering column. Can't get it out of park. Can't move the car. It's stuck on my trailer. My buddy Dave, who's younger and thinner than me, offered to climb through where the back seat goes. I removed it. And he climbed through that little spot right there. And I gave him a 7 16 wrench. He took the bracket off the trunk lid and popped it up for me. So now I have the key, uh, I have the lock rather, that goes in this little hole here. So I can try to get a key made so I have a trunk lock. Then we can go to the next phase and see if the thing will turn over. But I'm going to bring it to a new sponsor. A friend I've known for years, his name is Wayne. He's got a shop. And he and one of his guys are going to spend some time, go through all the fluids, get this thing turning over and get it running. So we're going to give Wayne a spot and bring him back to life, tinkering with my little Mercury Comet. So that's the story for today. Well, here comes Johnny Cannonball Baker. Looks like he's got his little truck today. If you want to see his big truck, go to his Facebook page and see Big Blue, the 50-ton triaxle that he tows disabled and wrecked trucks all over New England with. So this is his toy, a little diesel. It's had a little lift kit done on it. Hey, Johnny. Hey, how we doing, bud? I heard the train horn coming down the road. That was convenient. Yeah, I'll let you know I'm on my way. So tell us a little something about your toy here, your little truck. My little truck. It's a Chevy Duramax 2004, twin turbo. Just a little lift, like two inch lift. Nothing crazy. If you guys want to see a real big truck, you'll have to tune into the website and see our big ones. But now this is just my daily driver. It's really good fuel economy. It's not a 56 Chevy by any means. But, does the job, it gets it done. And it looks cool coming down the street. Yeah. Ma makes you want to kind of get out of the way. A little bit. <laughs> well, if we ever get a flood, we don't have to worry about our carpets getting wet. That's all I look at. <laughs> so what are we going to do today, John? I'm going to call up Cleman's Auto Parts and see if we can go get us some parts for that, uh, our old little Ford. For all yeah. you Ford guys. You, uh, you've known Bob Kleeman for a long time, haven't you? Yeah, I've known Bobby since 1997, actually. Worked for him when I was a kid. It's the first job I ever had. Pulling parts. And he told me that he has a hood and a fender for a 76 Mercury Comet. Yeah, how often in New England are you going to find parts for that? <laughs> he said the cars were long gone, but he had one that had a decent couple of parts on it, so they kept them, and they're just the ones we need for our little Comet here. Awesome, let's give him a call and see if he's still got him and we'll go down there and take we'll, a ride. We'll go get him right now. Sounds good. Well, and 
looking down there, that, that's my little Chevy Suburban right there. <laughs> I can barely see it. <laughs> okay, give Bobby a call and see what we're gonna do. All right, give me a second here, guys. Hands free, people. Remember, hands free. Do not talk on your cell phones. Unless you have a headset. Hello, Bob Kleeman. How are you? Good. My good friend Dennis said you had some parts for our little Ford. Awesome. Fender and a hood. 125. We'll be right over. Yes, sir. I'll bring our good buddy Dennis along with us. Okay. Thank you, Bob. Bye -bye. All right, well, got confirmation. Now let's go get our parts. Safety, seatbelt. So over where these blue parts were, Bob, there's a 69 Mercury Marauder. Yep. yep. I missed it when I came through doing my first show. Right. So I want to I want to go over there and show people what's there and what's left of it because somebody might be looking for that interior. Yeah, that was kind of a fancy odd car. Yeah, they didn't make very many. Was the top of the line, you know. Yeah, and I I did a little research in my book when you told me about it. Yeah. And in '69, the only reason the Marauder wasn't listed as a muscle car was because of weight. Yep. Big heavy tank. And it had a 429 in it, but it was still over 4,000 pounds, so it didn't it didn't make uh, muscle. No. So. Set you back in the seat, but that was the one. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but you could still breathe. Okay, right. I'll talk to you. Yeah. Let me call him and see what I can do. All right, I'm going to walk over there with Johnny and show that, and yeah. then we'll come back and get these Comet parts. Yep. All right, thanks, Bob. Okay, no problem. What is this, John? This is a Ford Mustang. It was a 428 car. It was crashed a very, very long time ago. Back when you were working with Bob? Yep. It's been here a while. Very long, long time. So, because it was a big block from the 70s era, it must have had a 9-inch rear in it because it's gone. Yep, the whole drive chain was the first thing to go. But there's some original parts on this car. Hidden treasures. Let's see if I can get a little on the other side of it because we're heading this way. I got bashed right in the driver's door. Yep. So there's not a whole lot of body parts that could be salvaged, but. Well, the buckets are still in it. It had a floor shifter, so it's hard to tell. Oh, it was an automatic car. So here's the car that I mentioned to Bob that I saw last time I was here, but didn't get to include it in my first show. This is a 69 Mercury. It's a two-door hardtop. X11 model. They had a 429 big block and it's a Marauder. Got an old Minnesota plate on it. And if you at home don't know, the Marauders had to flip up headlights. Yeah, another cool feature. And they're both still working. Both off. actually still work. You can believe that. This car has been here as long as I can remember, since 1999. Probably years before that. This uh, license tag from Minnesota says 1989, July. And that front bumper looks perfect. The grill looks perfect. All three of the little lenses and the signal lights and parking lights are there. They're good. 
the hood is still sitting on it, but like Bob said, they sold that 429 years ago. Both fenders have the uh, Insignia X1100 on them. Like I said, it's a two-door hardtop. And the Marauders came with bucket seats and a console. And I think a vinyl top was a giveaway. Uh, there was something else that was a giveaway on the Marauder. Looks like it still has a good 9 inch rear end. The interior is still all complete. Yeah, the back seat has been pulled up and is a, a skew. I'm going to walk around the other side and show the interior because the column and dash and everything is in it. But there's a little tree over there. Which I've dealt with before. But at least I'm not dealing with snow and ice. Today. Okay, here we are on the passenger side of this Marauder. And there you go. Bucket seats. Are both in it. There's the console with that full horseshoe handle. And the reason the bottom of the back seat is up on the driver's bucket is because all the parts that were on the block are on the floor in the back seat. So here it is for my subscribers who love Ford products and if you know somebody with a Marauder Well, this broken tree is in my way, but I can move it, so I will. I want to show the rear end. Because like Johnny said, not only is there a 9-inch rear in this thing, but from the back, it appears that the only thing missing is the bumper. But, there's the trunk, it's all there, with a few leaves on it. There's a valance with all the parking light assemblies and brake lights in it. And there's the back that says Marauder. So now we're going to take our Mercury Comet parts home and Figure out the plan we're going to make out of that little four-door and bring it back to life. Looks like the automatic transmission is in here on the floor too. Of course it's been taken away from the torque converter in the back of the engine, but this thing's full of pieces. Okay, that's the walkabout on the 69 Mercury Marauder. Clemens Auto Parts, Preston, Connecticut. Area code 860, phone number 889-0680.